Hi everyone, I'm Brian, and this is the slightly longer demo video of my 122A project, um, my take at a digital microscope. And already I have set up the Atmel programmer beneath the camera, and I'll be going a little more in depth uh, about how this microscope works, um, some of the issues I had, and what I've done to work around them. And I'll also be going over again some of the more basic functionality. So to get started, um, what I do here is I have this little page open and I hit initiate imaging. So initiate imaging opens up a window and you can see actually that the microscope is enlarging our programmer ship. So one of the issues with um, this project was the actual uh, framework. Um, starting off the project, I didn't really plan out how I was exactly going to set this up. I always had this idea that, all right, I get a camera, I get three servos, I get a lens, and I'll get a microscope. Um, actually, putting it together was uh, rather difficult, but what I ended up doing was I took inspiration from a project I saw online and 3D printers, and I essentially set up the camera which is sitting here on rails. So what this rail does here is as this servo turns, there are actually nuts uh, glued into this little box. So as this screw turns, it forces this box to scoot along either left or right. And I've repeated this process two other times. So at the project, this will force it to go forward and back. And down here, we can get that zoom out and zoom in option by having the actual object we're observing having this platform uh, lift or um, move further away from the camera itself. And so we can kind of see this in action here. So we can hit zoom in. And as you can see, we seem to deviate a little from where we're at. Um, that's due to the construction. Uh, it's not perfect yet. The rails aren't actually perfectly moving it just up and down. Um, you don't notice there is some slight play here. This is why we get that movement as we go up and down, but it does work and it does allow us to zoom in and zoom out. We can adjust for any movement in that by either moving to the left. And as you can see, we can move very slightly left every time we click. And again, the railing isn't perfect, so it's not gonna move the same exact distance every time, but we are getting some results. Alrighty, so a bit more into how this all works. So essentially the setup, as I explained earlier, is set up of servos that kind of determine how this object we're observing is gonna move in three axes of direction. Um, so what happens is the Raspberry Pi here that's being displayed right here, uh, I programmed using Python a interface for the user to use, which kind of simplifies everything down to just a few button clicks. So for example, uh, we want to capture an image. I can click capture image, give it a moment, and then I can open up here. And we have our captured image, although it's slightly rotated. We can see that it's exactly what we were looking at. Alrighty. And so these servos are actually controlled by an Atmega 1284 microcontroller. And this microcontroller is actually getting its information via the Raspberry, as we explained earlier, the user interface is here. So if I click zoom in, zoom out, up, down, left, or right, um, an electronic message is sent from the Raspberry via these cables here into the Atmega that tells it either to move the servo that controls the zoom in or zoom out or any of the other servos depending on what the user's input was. And in order to get magnification, I have a Raspberry camera here. This is an eight megapixel camera. And what I've done to actually magnify everything is here we can see, let me pull this out that I actually have a lens taken off of a laser pointer 
embedded here and this simply just attaches onto the camera itself and it magnifies everything. So without the lens, we see that everything is incredibly blurry and we can no longer get magnification. So um, that's everything for today. Thank you for watching.